After seven years of living in the frozen tundra that is Chicago, Illinois, my family migrated back to the South, which meant that I could drink cold, refreshing coffee beverages for more than one month of the year without my hands almost freezing off. And I discovered a love for iced lattes. If you ask my friends when you come to my house what the best drink I'm gonna make is, it's my iced lattes, that's my party trick, and I'm obsessed with it and cannot wait to share my recipe with you guys. If you're new to this series, my name is Elle, and every week I take you guys through a piece of my coffee journey to help you find your ritual and share some skills that will help you become an at-home barista. Let's get started with our iced lattes. And the core thing you will need to make this drink is a shaker. I got my shaker two years ago, it's perfect. I'm obsessed with it, use it probably at least every other day. And I have filled it about halfway with ice. Now with that being said, I'm gonna take my milk and I'm gonna pour it about to like just under the top of the ice, maybe about three fourths of the way because you don't want it to get overly watery or overly milky because you still wanna be able to taste that espresso. Now we're gonna go in with our Starbucks vanilla syrup, which is my personal ride or die. And as always, you can get it at your local Starbucks. Just ask them and they will give it to you if they have extra on hand. And we're gonna add in one, two, three, four pumps of that delicious vanilla. And then we're gonna pull our shots. Now, shots are the one thing that not everyone may be able to get their hands on to make this drink. If you don't have an espresso machine or can't get your hands on one, I have found that just buying like one of those jugs of iced coffee at the store and matching it with equal parts milk and adding your syrup in works just as well and is especially creamy. So pro tip there. Now that our shots have been pulled, we're gonna grab our shaker again and we're gonna pour it right on top. And then we're gonna grab our lid and shake, shake, shake. Now, when we make our traditional hot latte, I have given the advice that we should froth the milk until we feel the jug burning our hand a little bit. This is the opposite. We want to shake the shaker until it's so cold that we're getting a little bit of frostbite, which is about now, I'd say. So now we're going to pop the lid off and we're going to pour our base layer. This is like that runnier milk that is the base of our regular lattes. Then we're gonna pop the lid off the shaker because the real star of this drink is that amazing cold foam. Look at that. I'm in love with it. I love the taste and the texture of cold latte foam. Hits every single time and now it's time for a full sip. the perfect summer drink to serve to your friends. So I'm gonna link down below a shaker that I like that you can purchase so you can make your own iced lattes. And if you decide to make any, tag me. I would love to see your progress. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe down below because next week we are changing things up a little bit and we are going back to hot drinks with a delicious cafe Americano. See you there guys.